friends, my name is Miss Tina. What's your name? Hi! I am so glad that you are here to do church together with me today. Boys and girls, all month long, we are having a party! Do you like parties? What's your favorite part about a party? Maybe you said balloons or cake or presents. Oh, I love parties too. And boys and girls, did you know if Jesus was having a party, he would invite everyone. And do you know how I know that? It's because Jesus loves everyone. Boys and girls, that's the answer to our big question this month. The question is, who does Jesus love? And the answer is, Jesus loves everyone. Can you try saying those three words with me? Who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Great job, two-year-old friends. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. That's right, boys and girls. Well, today we are going to hear a true Bible story about a time and a place and a way that Jesus showed his love. Are you ready to check it out? But before we do, let's get up on our feet and let's get ready to sing and dance and praise and worship our great big God starting in just 10 seconds.
friends, I'm Minnie. And do you know what I'm ready for? Shout it out if you think you know. One, two, three, a party! We're having a party! We have all the decorations. Now all we need are the invitations! Hmm. How should I decorate them? I know, stickers! Aha! Glitter! Ta-da! Now, who should I give these invitations to? Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie! Hello, man. Who? Who? Throwing a big party, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. Yes, I am. I'm just deciding who to invite. Inviting people is fun. It's true. I know a story about another party, too. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through, who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, friends. Stormy Jane, look, it's our friends. We are ready for a party today because that's what our Bible story is all about. Are you ready for a story? <laughs> well, then let's go. One day, Jesus told a story about a party. Wow, look at this party table. It can seat lots of people. Did you know when you invite someone to a party, you call them your guest? It's true. And when you have a party guest, you want them to feel loved and welcome, and you want to have your table ready. Okay, so we have our table for the party, but it looks like we're missing a few things. Now, what does the party table need for our guests? Those are some great ideas. I think it needs some plates. On the count of three, let's yell, plates, please. Ready? One, two, three. Plates, please. <laughs> That's better. Now, if we're going to have plates for our party guests, I think we need some food to put on them. We don't want the guests to be hungry. Hmm, what should we serve for dinner? <gasps> Raise your hand if you want spaghetti. <laughs> Raise your hand if you want chicken. <laughs> Coming up. Wonderful. Now our guests will have plates and food. Well, we want them to have fun too. Let's decorate for the party and have music. On the count of three, say decorations, please. Ready? One, two, three. Decorations, please. <laughs> yes, now it's a party. We have plates and food and music and decorations. All we need is to invite the guests. Hey, who would you invite to a party? Those would be some great guests. Now, when Jesus told this story, he was teaching us something very important. Jesus said, everyone is invited to the party. It's true. Everyone is invited to the party because Jesus loves everyone. Jesus said, no matter what you've done, no matter where you live, I love you. No matter what language you speak or what kind of food you eat, I love you. You can be a super loud yelling singer or a super quiet whispery singer and Jesus loves you. If you have brown hair or blue hair or no hair, Jesus said you're invited to my party. Jesus loves everyone. <laughs> oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Who loves everyone? Jesus loves everyone. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus loves everyone, including me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh, ooh. Jesus loves everyone! I think I got the story. Did you get it? 
If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! I'm gonna invite everyone to this party, which means I need to make a lot more invitations. So, I'll see you guys next time, party friends. Boys and girls, Jesus loves everyone. Isn't that a sweet truth to remember? Our memory verse can help us to remember to show that love to everyone that we meet. I would love to teach it to you. I will say it to you one time and I just want you to listen and then after that I'll teach it to you a little bit by a little bit. It goes like this. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Great, so here's how it goes. First, I want you to start by stretching your arms out and saying, do everything. Can you try that with me? Do everything. Nice job. Now put your hands over your heart and say, in love. Try that with me. In love. Good job, friends. Now show me your Bible. We've got a long one today. It goes like this. First Corinthians. Try that. First Corinthians. And then the numbers are 16, 14. Can you try that with me? 16, 14. Great job, two-year-olds. Let's try the whole thing together. Are you ready? Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Nice job, boys and girls. I hope that you can show the love of Jesus to others today. Friends, let's take some time to pray and thank God for sending Jesus to us. Will you pray our special prayer with me? Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes, and you can repeat after me. Dear God, Thank you for making me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for sending Jesus to be my friend forever. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. I have had so much fun getting to do church together with you, and I can't wait to see you back here next week. I love you, boys and girls. Bye.